Hi everyone. So let's see how you can access all the files available in one particular folder or a folder contained inside the folder. So first uh, we need to create a one directory object. So directory, let's give the dir. And we'll give here the path like f drive test. So inside the f drive test, I have created one dart.txt file and inside that one sample folder is there and sample itself contain one file hello.txt so we are trying to access all the files in a folder from uh, this particular directory f drive test okay so now we have uh, pointed out this uh, particular directory with the help of dir dir object variable we can access now we'll use like a dir and we'll use the list sync function let's not uh, give anything as a part of argument and let me just provide files so it will be of type file system entity so it will return me the file system entity so all file contained inside that particular directory now all the file we have uh, grabbed inside this uh, list object so we can iterate over with the help of this for loop so let's say file system entity i'll just write file in files okay now let me just grab from this file state sync so it will give me the information for each individual file so let me just write f1 okay so from this particular statement we have got the information for each individual file now we are iterating over all the individual single files available in this particular directory and from that uh, uh, individual file system entity object grab the file state object now we can grab the individual information from this particular file state object. So uh, let's just print, let's say I want to know let's do the two string which is simple and let me just run it. So we have total two files are available. So one is a file and another one is a directory. You can see here. So one is a file and another one is a directory. And all the information it has just pasted like when it is changed, when it is modified, when it is accessed, when it is, uh, what is the mode of that particular file system. Now, if you observe here, whatever the file contained inside this sample folder, it has not displayed it. So if you want to display all the file recursively, we have to give here one more options like a recursive so we'll give recursive is equal to true so it will return me the three total file information so now you can see we have a total three file information so one is file then directory and then another also file okay so this way you can access the information about the individual files contain which is pointing to one particular directory you can even grab through this file dot let's say all the absolute value information you want to grab it and let me just print it okay let's just print so now you can see the f drive test dot dot txt f drive test sample but it is of type directory and then f drive test inside the sample again i have kept like a hello dot txt so this way once your directory object is pointing to one particular directory or a folder in your operating system you can just use this list sync function 
you can put recursively true or recursively false so if you put recursively false in that case you will just get only file contained inside that particular directory if you make this uh, recursive true that means you will get all the file within a folder all the file within a folder and recursively every single file and folder information you will get inside this list object and you can iterate over this list object and you can get the meaningful information contained uh, particular to that particular files and folder contained inside this particular directory okay so that is all about how to access the individual files and a folder now in the next video we'll see how to read a file and how to write files